you have to remember a very important thing here. Republicans thought they would have been in the wilderness for decades. They had no idea that this gift was going to be given to them. In other words, complete and total control of the government to make the changes that they feel would be impossible to make going forward. And the changes that they have to make are changes that allows a permanent minority to rule this country. And this is the one and only opportunity they feel they're likely to get. There's a structural reality in our country right now that doesn't lend itself to the policies of conservatives or Republicans. By an act of fate, Donald Trump was elected. So their gerrymandering, their voter suppression, and all of that, that only can last for a certain amount of time before just the volume of people overpower them, was successful in getting this last Republican administration, Republican Senate, Republican Congress all put together uh, in such a manner that they can change the Supreme Court, that they can put laws in that the Supreme Court would then uphold to allow this country going forward to be ruled by a minority. Joanne Reed yesterday just about said it. She said, I don't think Republicans would ever turn on Trump because Paul Ryan has made it pretty clear that he is going to use Trump's right hand to get the things that Paul Ryan wants. And what does Paul Ryan want? This is what she says. Paul Ryan essentially wants to repeal the 20th century again. Paul Ryan essentially wants to repeal the 20th century. He wants to privatize Social Security if he can, gut Medicare, gut Medicaid, gut food stamps, essentially throw the poor onto the mercy of charities and churches, turn everything into a fistful of vouchers. A voucher for you to go to school, which you are now going to have to pay for because Miss DeVos wants to privatize it. A voucher for you to buy health insurance. Good luck if the voucher isn't enough to pay for the policy that can actually help you when you are really sick. And that fistful of voucher strategy, they can throw it on Trump and say, well, Trump signed it. We have to look at the big picture here. This is an opportunity for them, the opportunity that they think is the last. The Republicans are going to hang on to Trump, a guy that is neither a Republican, an a, a honest broker, an honest conservative, or anything else. They just need his right hand. We're going to bring him a bill, and he's going to sign it. Let me go a little bit further, and this goes into quasi-conspiratorial theory. Conspiratorially. Uh, John just spoke about Comey and how much is Comey really doing? Is he really investigating Trump? Is he really having an investigation on the Russia issue and all these other issues with Trump on his real estate collusion, on all the criminal behavior that we know by inference he is committing? Is he doing that? My answer is I honestly believe they all are. I think the Justice Department has a group of folk out there that are actually investigating Trump. They know Trump is no uh, conservative. They know Trump is no Republican. Trump is a narcissist person who only cares about Trump. There are a lot of Republicans in the FBI. The Justice Department is now controlled by the FBI. They will have Senor Trump by the throat going forward. Anything that Paul Ryan comes up with, anything that Mitch McConnell comes up with, Donald Trump is going to sign by the hook or the crook or he will be embarrassed with impeachment out of office. So what I'm saying is yes, I do think the investigations are going on. They won't let it out because they don't want to let it out. They need to keep that man there as long as they can keep him there for that right hand. And when it is time for impeachment, and, re and remember, they also want him to sign all the bills that are not too, well, very middle class centric because they need somebody who they're going to blame and they don't want to blame the next president of the United States who likely will be Mike Pence. So then when they blame all the bad things on Donald Trump, which Americans are not understanding how our society, our government works, that actually no matter who the president is, a bill really it comes from Congress, is written by all your Republican congressmen and senators. 
they will be able to go into their areas of low information and tell them, look, it wasn't us. It was President Trump. And guess what? We got rid of him. Now you have yourself your real conservative, Mike Pence. Conspiratorial? Yes. Possibility? Highly.